Hi, I'm Black Bright, and I wanted to um, talk today about um, the NHS situ situation, the shortage of staff. Now they have over 100,000 short, 100,000 short of staff. Uh, 50,000 nurse, 40,000 nurses and 10,000 doctors. I'm not quite sure what the other ones are. But my point is, is that they have people who are in the country um, who are waiting for their leave to remain to be um, approved. We have qualified immigrants already in the country. Why the hell is the government putting out a plea to bring in more immigrants. Why are they doing that? Why can't you just use the resources you have in the country? You can give them some kind of restricted contract. I'm sure they would be happy to be on a short term contract with no benefits rather than be ducking and diving. Why would you not do that? Why are you spike what they call it? Spike your nose to cut your face or whatever it is. It's absolutely ridiculous. They moan about immigration, saying, oh, all these immigrants, all these immigrants. Yet you're up bringing more people in. You're letting the media know or you're letting via the media, you're letting everybody know that more immigrants are coming in to fuel the fire. You don't have to bring more immigrants in when you have immigrants on soil now who are more than qualified. The only thing that they've done wrong is maybe overstayed or missed a deadline. So boo hoo hoo hoo. So what? Well, I don't know why they don't use their common sense. You know, that's why I said they're trying to add fuel to the fire. It's not right because I know that there are nurses, doctors, clinicians, all kinds of people out there trying to get their indefinite leave to remain. Why not just go through that and say, OK, we're going to do an amnesty for certain qualified people, not everybody, not the dossers, but do an amnesty for qualified people who are above a certain level, who may have overstayed for whatever reason, because they didn't know about the change in the immigration laws or whatever it is. Or they were born in the country and they weren't registered because the fathers didn't know it was so expensive or they knew it was so expensive and that's why they didn't register. But they have, you know, you know, they it's, it's a it's you know, you have to use your discretion. Culminating circumstances, mitigating circumstances. So they could put out an amnesty on qualified people. All the people who can show that they are qualified nurses, doctors who may have overstayed, come forward and we will give you a reprieve for one to two years, whatever it is, and we'll put you um, and we'll give you a nurse. I know you're probably going to think, oh, they've got me over a barrel, but that is not the point. It could be a win win situation. That's what I think anyway. I don't know who else would agree with me. But to me, it makes sense. You're putting out a plea to the Asians or to the Caribbeans or and the, and the, I don't know, some Filipinos or 45,000 to bring them in on top of what you've already got. When you've got people here that you could give a reprieve or amnesty just on those people. I'm not telling you to give everybody an amnesty, but if they have a certain qualification over a certain graduate level and they're qualified nurses and doctors, give them a bloody break and employ them for the NHS to help get over this um, problem. Anyway, that's my little rent, short and sweet. Bye.